So as you may notice I did buy this Flyscase radio. It's a FS GT 3B. Uh, it's quite nice radio, but only problem is in here. Eight freaking double A batteries. Thing is heavy as hell and needs eight batteries so I will put in this battery it's one that I buy for, for a RC car but I doesn't use it and because I will not upgrade the firmware I will use this this is the so called protection board it's a 3S uh, balancing, uh, charging and uh, over discharge protection board that uh, is connected to the balance plug. I have it a old uh, socket that I will use some cables to solder it. And basically how this works is that you connect uh, through this uh, four parts uh, the battery and here's the output and the input because this can also charge but it needs uh, one amp uh, charger so I will not charge it just I need to protect before uh, I discharge uh, this if I doesn't turn, turn it off so let me take this to the side I will take out the batteries from this and uh, open it with the screws on the side I think I will also unscrew this one and start to take it out Okay, so here it is. I will not open this part, I will just open this one just to get the battery uh, tray out. Now, the new battery, I will find it. Yes, it will fit inside. I wanted to put the bigger one, I have a spare old 200 milliampers but that one is too, too thick so I will use this one it's so small so it's fitting great in there now I will heat up my soldering station unsolder these two cables and start to solder the board that I put somewhere here and I oh that is and start to solder cables. Most important part is never solder with connected to, to this plug because if you short any of uh, these cables the battery will, will burn or will explode so it's not a toy always take uh, cash and take care just not to uh, burn yourself or your home so don't play with this but is just always read on the internet what uh, what to do how just to doesn't burn yourself okay so I soldered the battery tray I think I will put it to the side for now, I hope I will cut it so I can have better access for soldering. Now, the, the board itself, I don't know if I can get the focus for it, have the B-, B-1, B-2 and B+. How to know it, what goes where, the lag is like this. B minus is always the the black one, so it's this. Then is the battery one, 
that goes here battery 2 that goes here and the battery plus is on the on the second side because if you have something connected to, to this plug and you want something uh, still to connect to the battery you can use the first and the last uh, cable from the from the socket so okay so now I will put a little solder on it and I need to get my soldering second hand and I will start to solder this this connector so always check how the plug is connected so it's like this so it means the first one is the is the negative and now I have all three wires uh, yellow but I doesn't care about that so it means I need to connect the ground to here okay so let me start to sort that Okay, so here is it soldered. I think that will work fine. So now, before I connect this, I need to check again if I connected all the cables in the correct uh, places. Like the battery minus anything is okay. So I will need to turn back my computer and check the the diagram back, and I will. Uh, when I check it on the internet, I will connect it on the camera and show if it's working or or, or not. Okay, so I check on the internet. Everything is uh, soldered like it should. So now I will connect battery and see if it will burn or if it, anything will light on it. So this may be my last movie. So nothing happens because uh, it's not uh, connected to the charging. Don't know if there is any LED on it. How to say? I think there is no LED on it. So okay, it's not overheating, battery not overheating, no smoke. So now I can solder. Ok, 
Okay, so I think it's ready. Let me connect battery. Let's see what will happen. It's connected to the minus, to the plus, and it's working. You see the voltage. Voltage is okay. So now, how uh, why I use this uh, circuit is because if I will now left this uh, on the circuit will automatically disconnect the uh, the radio before the battery will die so this is so uh, that's why i use it because if i forget to turn it off the radio will still uh, still be on and the circuit will just disconnect it so now it's so you see 11.5 volts so it's much much over uh, the the voltage that will disconnect the battery but okay now I will put the shrink, uh, sh uh, heat shrink on the circuit I will put the hot glue in here just to prevent it from getting the pins out and uh, uh, just to secure uh, before the any connection and uh, short circuit Okay, so here is the ready circuit. As you can see, it's heat shrinket, it's uh, hot glue. The hot glue will hold the cables just to not pull it out. So now, uh, the only downside with the circuit is that it sometimes when you connect it, it will not turn on. As you can see, I turn it on. And to turn it on, you just need to connect for a short time uh, power supply with 20 volts so uh, this port now allow me to charge uh, lipo batteries but I need a uh, power adapter with 20 volts and 1 amp max because uh, the circuit will pass through uh, uh, all amperage that uh, uh, power supply will have so I will still need to check what amperage I can use but as far as I see on the battery is uh, 150 so it's 1 amp uh, to charge it with 1C so then I will buy a cheap uh, 1 amp uh, power adapter and I will have the charging uh, port working for me and the uh, uh, bolt will charge and uh, uh, and balance all uh, free cells on the batteries to prevent from uh, damaging it. So once connected, it will always work. But each time you disconnect the battery, the circuit will need uh, to have a power adapter for a short time. It's less than one second to activate the circuit again. So each time you will disconnect it, you need to uh, connect the power adapter again but if you leave it inside and you will charge it with the port it will always uh, work so that's not a big problem okay so let me now uh, screw it down uh, back and put, them, put it all together and I will show the finished product Okay, so I put it back. This battery is a bit cheaper than the uh, than the normal battery tray, but I still been able to put it inside. Actually, I will not take it out, so I uh, doesn't need it. You see, if it's on. No, and I, again, I will need to connect the power the power adapter just to activate the port like this like this and that's all and it's on now 
Each time I will turn it on, it will be on because it's activated by the power adapter. I will uh, try to find on the internet uh, more information about the voltage that, that I need to connect to the to uh, charge it. But so far, this make it very easy for me because I don't need any charge any something like that. I will just connect a power adapter uh, to the spot, activate uh, the remote, and have it working with no problem. So that's all. I hope you take uh, every caution with working with the LiPo and modifying it. But as you can see it's, it's more easy. Of course I could connect the battery dire directly to these two cables but I wanted to have a protection and still I will have a charging function from the radio that uh, is uh, like it's designed uh, with this radio so that's all for now okay so I did some test on the uh, more research on the internet about this model and there is a, a bunch of movies where uh, a man tested and he said that uh, this device will charge battery but will not charge it good so in this case I think the standard uh, chargers like the BMAX or uh, the IMAX uh, will also not charge it perfectly but uh, if you still want to charge it it will work uh, but so far I think I will use a, a separate charger because it's mostly once in the year because I doesn't use uh, these devices uh, uh, any car so often but one uh, thing that I did is if I connect it it will not turn on because the device is not uh, activated so I made a jumper that I connect to the battery like this then I connect it to the plug disconnect it and it's on so remember that this cable I will only use just when I disconnect the battery because the battery is still inside I will not need it there is much space inside so I can still pull it in here and I left it in case I will need to jump in, in the in the field but so far this will work for me great and uh, I, I don't know if anyone else will use this uh, circuit to, to do it what I do but so far for me is much better than using 8 freaking AA batteries so that's all, I will leave the battery inside for because it's, it's ready, just put the cover and it's done for now.